Yeah, what's going on? What is going on? What's going on? Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Uh, again, it's me with my little preview show, of course, for what is known as the Big Time Show podcast that will be uh, live tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, Central Time, of course, that will be heard on Facebook and heard on YouTube and heard on, um, oh my God, Twitter and on our new station that we are on or new platform that we're on, which is, of course, uh, Twitch. Um, the Big Time Show now is on Twitch Live. Uh, we are there right now. If you have a Twitch account, uh, all you have to do is go, hey, what's up, Wendy? I see you. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, if you want to go and follow me on Twitch, which I suggest that you all do and help your boy out, you know, help me out in that area, I'll put it there for you. And there it is, Twitch. And there it is. That's my handle on Twitch. All you have to do is go there and just uh, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to that channel and you can um, uh, follow me there as well. Uh, also, I guess I might as well do this while I'm here. I'm doing okay, Wendy. I'm doing okay. Uh, if you're on Twitter, that is my handle on Twitter, which is at Big Time Loop. All you have to do is just follow me on Twitter and you'll be have access to my little statements that I make from time to time there. And of course you have access to, uh, uh, the podcast as well. Uh, if you're on YouTube, if you want to go to YouTube, there it is. Uh, search out the big time show. That's all you have to do and subscribe to that channel. Uh, and you can see me live there as well. Um, if you listen, uh, of course, it, you won't miss anything is live. So right now, presently, I should be live right now on at least five uh, platforms. I should be on my personal page, which I need to check and see if that is the case. And I should be on the Big Time Show Facebook page. I should also be on the YouTube channel and as well as Twitch uh, I don't know who I was watching right now. I know Wendy is here. I uh, appreciate you, Wendy. I got two other people that are on as of right now, I think. Uh, I haven't said nothing to me, so I don't know if you are there or not. I'm trying to get to my personal page just to see if I'm on there. And I am on there right now. Okay. Good deal. Uh, listen, tomorrow we're talking cowboy. I see you, Wendy. I just I, I can tell you're on because I can see uh, the symbol by your picture uh, whenever uh, someone comments. That's the only way I know where they're coming from. Uh, I can have live viewers, but I don't know where they're coming from unless they comment. You have the little Facebook signal by your name. I mean, excuse me, by your picture. Yeah, I think you can see that. Uh, I believe you can see that. So I can tell exactly where you're coming from. Uh, but most of my comments will come from Facebook because I've been on Facebook for so long. Uh, but I'm just trying to stretch out my little podcast that I have with as many. I don't know anything about Twitch. I don't know nobody on Twitch. I'm quite some of you uh, that may be watching replay have Twitch accounts. I don't know nothing about it. I just joined it two days ago. They say it's a great uh, place for streaming and podcasting. So I joined on just to try to put the show out. Uh, um, thank you, Wendy. I'm, I'm sorry about that. You're actually absolutely right. Uh, my Podbean handle is simply the big time show. Uh, if you want to go on Podbean, which is really my foundational home for the podcast, uh, you can go to just follow the big time show. That's all you have to type in the big time show uh, and follow it. Uh, once you follow it, I believe that you would get the notifications whenever I go live on Podbean. Uh, it should be there. And if not, you can adjust your settings and everything else to uh, make that happen. Uh, let's check out Podbean. Is anybody on there? Uh, no, nobody's not on there right now. Uh, 
usually the way pod being where you kind of have to kind of schedule and uh, people get those notifications on pod being for live, you know, podcasts that would be coming along. It's kind of hard to generate a real group there, um, you know, live when you just pop on, just like I just did. Now, usually the way that you need to do it is, is give some type of preview of saying, look, I'm coming on in 30 minutes or look, I'm coming on in two hours or so. And at least, you know, for some, it'll be, in, you know, planted in the head that you're coming like I'm doing now. I'm just popping on and just, you know, whatsoever, you know, whatever it may be, let it be. Uh, but uh, I appreciate, you know, whoever's on here. Listen, I'm not big. I'm big time, but I'm not. That's my nickname for those that don't know. That's a long time ago. I had to explain that. But, uh, you know, I'm not a gigantic podcast. I'm just uh, starting out. Uh, started in August of last year. I have a little following. I have a little following. And this is a hobby of mine that I just want to do. And uh, but I'm acting like I'm 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 acting like uh, <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. And Wendy is a loyal supporter of the show, uh, no doubt about it. And when you know, I appreciate you, Wendy, so much beyond uh, your contributions to the show. Just a good. Pr- person and uh you know so uh that we go a little bit farther back well probably about a year or two now maybe something like that uh it's amazing what you can develop in facebook land i met some good people uh on facebook and wendy no doubt about it is, is one of those people so uh she contributes you know helps in the show and uh and i appreciate that you know you just good to be nice and it's good to thank people when they uh you know uh when they decide to, you know, get behind you. So, uh, you know, you ought not be selfish with just saying thank you. Um, you don't have to do it. And uh, I appreciate anybody that uh, supports me, even if it's just popping in and listening. I'm appreciative of that because, you know, you don't have to do that. So I'm uh, I'm appreciative for anything that uh, I get. So I'm just trying to now check me out now. I'm performing like I'm talking to millions. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how my mind thinks. Uh, that's just how my mind thinks. I don't care if it's one person listening. I'm gonna talk to that one person, but I'm gonna act like it's it's a million people that I'm talking to. Um, so you're gonna get my best uh, every time I come out. I'm I'm on. You know whether you like it or not. When you step put yourself out like that, you're on a stage. Uh, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I, I treat everybody, you know, the same, whether it's one or whether it's a thousand. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm just putting myself out like out there, uh, with all these different platforms, which I will show you here. Uh, this is where on your screen where you can hear, uh, the big time show podcast. Now, all of these with the exception of Podbean and Twitter and Twitch, Podbean, Twitter, and Twitch, you can hear me live. Like right now, if you go to one of these three, Podbean, Twitter, or Twitch, you will see me live and in color like I am now. Everywhere else, I have to upload the show that I probably just did. And once I do it, maybe within two minutes or so, the show that I just finished will be available for you to listen. So Google podcast, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, LinkedIn, and Tumblr are not live. You may have uh, accounts there, uh, but you can listen to that at any time on those platforms. Those are not live again, but you, you know, at least the show will be available and everybody don't want to listen to you live. You know, some folks uh, don't want to give you the satisfaction. I don't even want to start with that, but, some folks want to listen to you later on. They don't want to jump in live. Uh, I can go so many ways with that, but I'm not going to do that today. What did you say, Wendy? I said yesterday to Barry, and I love that bishop, and Barry do not beg. Oh, no. No, we don't. Uh, you know, if this was my primary resource, Wendy, I would say, you know, my whole, you know, way of way I do things probably would change because – I would have to, you know, try to make this my, uh, you know, uh, my primary source. But 
this is not my primary source. This really is a hobby. And, uh, but I, you know, I would hope that I would, you know, gain some people who would support me in my little hobby and, uh, and roll on, but I'm not begging nobody. Um, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that. that. That's not me. Uh, it's who, whoever wants to hang and, and, uh, support. I'm good with it. If you're not, I'm good with that too. Uh, <laughs> well, when I'm saying this, I'm presently right now. Now I'm not going to knock that, but I know where you're going with that too. Uh, but I'm in the process now of trying to, um, uh, finish up the stars thing also for my Facebook. Uh, I'm doing that. I have that on pod bean. I'm grateful for that on pod bean. Uh, they have a thing. It's almost the equivalent to the stars. They call it golden beans where it has the same thing. Like if you spend $2 or so or a dollar, it may send me uh 700 golden beans or something like that. It is the same thing as stars. Uh, but, uh, you know, I rarely say that everybody that listen to pod being kind of know, and they know if you send hearts, uh, stuff like that, that is kind of money, you know, look like if you send 99 cent, it may give me, you know, 1500, you know, uh, whatever hearts or whatever that equivalates to maybe a dollar or so or whatever. Uh, that's fine. But I have also on my, my show, a patron, uh, where well, you can become a patron of the show on Podbean only. Uh, Podbean only, the Podbean way is, is that for uh, however many dollars a month you want to contribute, I ask for $4, I think 4 or $5, whatever, a month. Uh, you can and it'll come out of your bank account and bam. But I don't really push that issue because everybody knows, you know, if you find it in your heart, you can do it do it that way where it just come out month after month four or five dollars a month and that's how you become a patron of the show but what i do on facebook and everywhere else youtube uh uh and now twitch and uh i'm missing out one twitter i believe uh what i would do is put up my cash app i guess i do that now uh this is the way that i let those people that don't want to contribute to the show on a monthly basis uh they can contribute you know whether it's one time or whatever if they find it in their heart to contribute anything what i will do uh wendy you know this uh, i have a little group uh my facebook group that i call the big time show uh patrons i believe i believe that's it and if you contribute anything to the show, I'm gonna put you in that group because I think that if you contributed one cent to the group, you deserve to kind of know where I'm going with the show. And uh, there's been some, you know, sometimes some type of private conversation within the group, uh, but I got it there for the people that contribute to the group. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. I, I appreciate it, uh, you know, but it's not necessary. Uh, it'll be appreciated, but it's not necessary. I'm not begging uh, for anything. I will say this also, uh, when did you're helping me out? You just don't know it, but um, there's my email address, people, because the big time show. Uh, oh, cause let me get back. When to say, Bishop, what do you prefer? Cash app is at hand or get in a little bundle end of the month uh that that's that's to the person's discretion uh wendy because i don't know their situation some people can do a bundle some people can do you know uh, whatever they can do on cash app so i just leave it up to their discretion it's not a it's not a a preference to me at all uh it's whatever uh the person decides i don't have a problem with it um that is my email address everyone uh the big time show three at gmail.com the reason why i do that hey mike oh mate no oh, mike you ain't never late man uh i get that i'm asking for me only oh okay uh when whatever you want to do i take it i'm sorry you know <laughs> I, I really don't it really don't bother me it's whatever you want to do i promise you uh it, it's whatever uh things happen you know some people may uh de- you know dedicate themselves to becoming a patron where they take out a little bit out of you know whatever you decide you want to give for the month 
uh, and they'll come out of your bank account on that day, monthly, whatever. But things happen, and uh, and you you may need that whatever. Uh, hey, what's up, Tommy? I see you, man. Hey, brother. Hey, hey, Mike. I see you. Uh, it's whatever. So you know things can happen uh, with the cash app. It's like bam, there. Uh, my sister, for instance, and I know she wouldn't mind me saying it. My sister, for instance, just gave a one-time block right there uh, in cash app, and that was it. If I'm only asking for five dollars, I think twelve times five is what sixty. I think she gave me about eighty dollars or something, you know. So that that covered for the whole year. Uh, you know, it's whatever a person does. I I don't I don't care. I don't care. Uh, I think about your family and had an unexpected occasion of late still praying for you and your wife. So appreciate it. My wife is doing fine. Uh, you know, whenever you ever have a family member die, you just have to take it day by day. That's, that's, you know, it is what it is. My wife is doing pretty good. I'm quite sure, you know, on a private moment, she, she has some thoughts about her father and, uh, that's only natural. Uh, and I'm quite sure she is doing, you know, she's doing fine. She's, she's back working. We're back to normal. Uh, you know, but we still grieving. It's still fresh. Uh, but we, uh, you know, we, we take it day by day. Let me say this. Hey, uh, Tommy and, and Mike appreciate y'all coming in. I was about to talk about something, but, uh, I guess I'm kind of explaining the show just a little bit. Uh, the big time show three at gmail.com. As you can see, that's my email. The reason why I have that is because, uh, I also offer advertising. If you have a business that you uh, and you want to advertise something, uh, hey, I'll be glad to do that for you. I have had that happen on this show before uh, with a business. Uh, you know, I just email me uh, your business. I mean, you don't have to email me your business that you're interested in doing it, and we can start talking about uh, what needs to happen from that point on. Uh, it's really just as simple. When in my son's family just lost a young man, two brothers, and had a tire pop and ran into an 18 wheel and one died. That is sad. Uh, that is sad. And uh, our prayers go out to uh, the family there. Uh, that's, 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 that's a real tragedy uh, that unexpected, I would, uh, obviously, an unexpected tragedy. And it's just, it's just sad. So we're praying for the peace and the strength of uh, your son's family and everyone who's involved and hope that things uh, God will relinquish peace uh, and strength to those that need it. So I know what you're going through. I lost my mom last year and still haven't gotten over it. Yeah. Uh, I, he's my father-in-law. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Hey, you know, it, it's, it's just something to get used to, you know, just the thought of, that a person that you've seen for so many years, and in your case, Mike, your mom, and I don't know how old you are, but however long you've been here, she's been here a little bit longer and you've known her all your life. And to know that you won't see that person again until you go to heaven. Uh, but, you know, it's a hole. It, it's, it's just a hole. And I, and I know people through counseling over the years that, um, there are some that never get over it. You know, Mike, you're 54. Yeah. So, I mean, it's hard to, to look at, you know, a person that's been, you know, in your face constantly 54 years. And then all of a sudden with the snap of a finger, it's over. Uh, and so, you know, in my case, I'd known my father-in-law for probably about 12 years. So that's long enough to, to, you know, develop feelings and, care and love and then of course uh your 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 mother and all that kind of stuff yeah exactly um i see you when you have to be happy there in a better place at what times are coming to have a whole 30 years over my mom i get that exactly and you know uh some people are able to move and get by it and then some people are just able to function you know, uh, you know, they, they're able to function, but you know, they, you know, days like what we just had Sunday when mother's day come around, you know, it, it kind of, kind of knock you down a little bit, you know, if father's day is coming up and, uh, you know, it's not, you know, it, it kind of, 
you're not a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Um, you maybe just be 90, but that 10 percent still hurt, you know. So that's where we have to know God. Uh, you know, and 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 he and you what 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 I've always said and what I've also seen in people is that, you know, as the years go by, it gets a little better. It's not complete. It just, you know, you just you you, you may have cried 20 tears the first year. This next year you may only cry 10. You still crying, but you know, that's you only cry. It don't hurt as as you know, as it's, you know, as the fresh wound, you know what I'm saying? So I'm praying for all you guys, uh, that, uh, praying for all you guys who, you know, we all have to go through it. That's why it's good to know God and good to know, have Christ as your, as your savior. And, um, that word that he says, he'll give strength to you. This is, we just got to believe and we got to function in it. Uh, and thank God for the small victories. Um, uh, you know, thank God for the the on the way to deliverance where things slowly but surely get better day by day. You know what I'm saying? You know, strength. I mean, day by it, you know, don't worry about getting to the end. You know, you you here's the beginning point of your problem. And then you most people want to get all the way to the end and then they forget about the journey in the middle. Where if you look at the middle, that's where the strength and the peace and the blessings came was in the middle uh and then at the end you're able to to really give god uh the, the proper praise uh that he deserves um uh, so yeah yeah so i'm praying for all you guys on that let me peep in on pod bean and let me see if somebody hey and somebody has popped in hello pga 7389 in the stair hey uh hello how you doing i think you're here uh, but appreciate you for popping in on me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, my people have gotten me off of what I wanted to say uh, uh, with all this, but that's one thing about me. I'm able to adjust uh, and, and and it's all good. So again, let me go back to that. If you want to advertise, there's my email, <clears throat> whatever business that you may have. Uh, if you feel like that you that my my probably little podcast can help you along the way. I'd be glad to uh to accommodate you uh in that area. I will say this uh if you have stuff means that people can get your business products online, uh podcasting is uh uh you know podcasting is a good way to go because if a person has a platform that reaches you know several places uh, that may work for you. Uh, just on Podbean, Podbean can be heard all over the world. That's what I'm finding out uh, through Podbean, at least. I know Facebook and all that, but pretty much that's regulated to your friend friend list. Podbean, however, if you hook it up to all these platforms, like what I told you earlier, Pod, Spotify, Pandora, iHeart, and all that, uh, what I found out is it is not only is just in the United States, it's across the world. I had I have people that listen to me in the UK. Uh, I had people to listen to me in Africa, uh, Johannesburg, and uh, it was somewhere else, uh, uh, Zaire. Uh, I've had people listen to me in Australia. My last show, I think I had someone listen to me in Melbourne, Australia. Don't ask me how. I don't, you know, whatever. Uh, I think I think the show podcast has reached uh, at least four five different countries or continents uh so far which is i found them you know pretty good amazing um and then of course here in the united states it has stretched i think my last count i think the podcast has touched uh 18 states uh in the in the in this country so uh it's amazing you just never know you never know uh what might happen it's kind of like the podcast you never know who's listening and you never know what door God may open up uh, for you. So let me talk a little football, and then I'll get out of the way because this is just a little preview. Uh, tomorrow, I think that I will have uh, a guest with me on tomorrow. Uh, I believe I will. I should have called him before, but 
I think I might have a guest with me on tomorrow, and I I verify that, and I will put out a couple of uh, flyers out just in case uh, I, my guest comes with me on tomorrow. I don't want to call his name out because I don't want to look raggedy and he don't come. <laughs> so uh, just be prepared for that uh, tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Time. We'll be talking cowboy talk, but I'll go ahead and talk a little bit of it now. My thing is this, y'all. I don't know who told us that this schedule. All I heard is say the Cowboys had the fourth easiest schedule uh, in the league, and, and I I'm trying to figure out how how did how did that happen? I mean, what fourth easiest? The, the schedule looked hard to me. I I don't see no ease on it at all. And because it's not easy, here's my thing. We had better win one of the first two games, and both of them are on the road. That's 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 all I that's all I can see. The first two games is Tampa Bay, of course you know that, and then the second game is at the Los Angeles Chargers. Now. Those are two tough games. I'm just going to go on and tell you. It's going to be tough. Because if you think the Chargers are a pushover, you're crazy. Justin Herbert is the truth. They got a dynamic running game in Eckler. They have a, a bona fide number one killer receiver at Keenan Allen. They got a good tight end. They got a good line. They just picked up Matthew Slater. The line is going to be, be better. Defensively, Oh, y'all forgot that uh, most of the time the Chargers defense is hurt. Okay, so that means Derwin James probably is coming back. Bosa will be back. Uh, the Ingram, I believe, the linebacker is back. They just picked up Asante Samuel Jr. This is going to be a tough game. And the reason why I say that we better win early, we need to win. It would be awesome if we win both. But we better win one of those two because if we don't win one of those one of those two, I don't our heads for some reason just go unless this is a new year. I realize new year, but it's just something about the Cowboys when they lose, it take them about a week to get their head out of their they butts. <laughs> Can I say that? It, it, it's because it just like it's just hard to catch up, and. Uh, I just believe we better come on in. Hey, everybody. Everybody's in here. Hey, oh, goodness. Hey, um, Mofilio, I don't know who you are that's listening now. Uh, where are you from? Uh, M-O-F-O-F-O-L-W-A-T. You know who you are. Hey, I can't pronounce it, but forgive me for not uh, knowing it on Podbean, but how you doing and where are you listening to me from? And, uh, Thank you for popping in on me. Let me know where you're listening from, if you don't mind. Uh, what'd you say, Wendy? Wendy says, uh, especially the first game, I wonder if Dak and Zeke and company may retire Brady. They had to be adrenaline field. Well, everybody knows the game plan when it comes against Brady. It's just only a few teams that can do it. And the way that you get to Brady is, is that you got to pressure him. And what has always given him problems is a team that has a front four that can only, that can get to him, not blitzing linebackers or cornerbacks, just a four down line. And if you got a front four that can get there and give constant pressure, you can beat up Brady. That's been uh, his MO. That's the only thing that I've seen uh, that can really get to him is just a dominant front four that can get it. Do we have that? No. But we have enough that can uh, give some real problems. I have to see our defensive tackles and how they play. We have some dominance on the edges, though. Randy Gregory and Demarcus Lawrence can cause a lot of problems. No doubt about that. They can. But if you ain't got nothing in the middle, then that becomes null and void, really. What I'm talking about. A uh, uh, front four. I need somebody that's in the middle that's going to cause some situations. They don't have to necessarily get to Brady in the backfield. I need a person that can command a double team like Quentin Bohanna is going to do. 
uh, if he, you know, if politics don't get involved uh, and they allow him to play. So uh, that that's just my thoughts on uh, do we have the front four. Tampa's going to be a, a very emotional game both ways. Uh, they'll just be raising their banner for their championship from last year. Uh, it's the first home game. Fans will be there. Brady is going to be fired up, but Dak will too. Uh, Dak will be fired up too. Zeke will be fired up. We 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 got a chance. We got a we 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 got a chance. We got a real chance uh, because we can score. I'm banking on that. The question is, can we stop anybody though? I believe we're going to be better. I just don't know if that's the first game or is that going to be enough. Uh, I got to see who my other cornerback is, who the other corner is going to be. Uh, I, I said on yesterday that we need a veteran um, cornerback. We need a veteran. After looking at the schedule, we need a veteran cornerback to go. I, I, I was happy for Joseph from Kentucky, but I don't want him out there on week one. I don't. Now, y'all might want him. I don't. I, I don't mind him getting some snaps. I don't want him starting. That's not a good way to start your NFL career where you got Mike Evans, you got Goodwin, uh, you got Scotty Miller, uh, Gronk, and then you also have O.J. Howard, who people done forgot about, who's coming back too. And then, of course, you got the running game, Fournette and uh, uh, Ronald Jones, and then they just signed Giovanni Bernard. Then, of course, you got Brady back there. I mean, that's that's a lot. I ain't even mentioned Antonio Brown yet. I mean, I mean they're loaded. And that's not good for a rookie to see uh, his first game. So uh, I want a veteran cornerback now. And we'll need it also for week two when Keenan Allen, when we go see Keenan Allen and the other guy on the other side. I forgot his name. I had it right in my, my brain. I just can't think of it right now. But we don't need experimentations. We need solid. Uh, so I need a veteran cornerback. Uh, whether that's Anthony Brown or that's already on the team or whatever, I'm not comfortable with putting Joseph out there saying, day one, you're a starter. It's already, you got to keep in mind, Diggs is in his second year. Uh, uh, Spoon and Star Game said, I, Game Violence said, we are going to skin the field in most games, most all games, and a paid quarterback is going to blow him up. Uh, yeah. It can happen. It's just that we better uh we better this defense better better show up early because of the way that the schedule is set is not giving us time to really figure they they need to have some things for it's just like right now. I guarantee you, Tom Brady is looking at tape from a Dan Quinn defense, not the Cowboys. He's gonna be looking at the defenses when he played in Atlanta. And he's also going to be looking at the uh, Seattle games when the Patriots played them because that's Dan Quinn, who was the defensive coordinator. So that's what he's going to be looking at. Uh, he's not really not going to be looking at the Cowboys defense from last year because it's a whole new system. Uh, that That is what it is. Uh, and the Cowboys should be looking at Tampa Bay from last year. Pick whatever games you want to look at. Dak should be doing the same thing. Dak should be looking at the Super Bowl and how the Buccaneers destroyed the Chiefs. Dak should be looking at the the, the formations, the, the lineups that they had on defense. They should he should be already. We already know who we playing in Week One. The preparation is starting now. We need to go on start now. Start start peeping everything out. Try to figure out everything. So the defense don't have time to figure things out. Because the schedule, in my opinion, is dictating that they need to come out the, the box running. I'm talking about to come out the gate, tearing people apart, knocking folks' head off. Uh, you know, I'm serious. Uh, we don't have time. The schedule is already. It, it's rare when two team. It's rare when a team starts. Uh, you know, it's not rare. I'm saying, but it's it's. It's not cool to start the year off with your first two games on the road. Is 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 not that's that's not a that's that's not a good recipe. 
It can be done. It's been done before. People have, you know, survived it. People have, uh, you know, have, have won. Uh, I just need to see the psyche of this team. Uh, and we got some legitimate killers out there. But they're rookies. Tom Brady has seen rookies before. I love Michael Parsons, but he ain't seen nothing like Tom Brady before. You know, I'm not saying he can't bust him in his mouth. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying he's a rookie. And Tom Brady has seen he takes advantage of people like that. He has. I done seen it for over 20 years, so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, Tom Brady is not intimidated by a rookie. Please understand that. Justin Herbert, maybe. Tom Brady, no. No. Tom Brady played against Ray Lewis and, you know, all old guys. No, he, he ain't worried about no Michael Parsons. I mean, he done. Tom Brady played against Ed Reed and, you know, and Peyton Manning and, you know, all these guys. You know, it, it is what it is. If Bishop was the pandemic, et cetera, they're probably wanting and out as a whole team. I say we're going to take the books. I wouldn't be surprised, Wendy. I just need to see. I just need to see how fast our defense is. And, you know, I'm, I'm serious. How fast, if, if we can get pressure on Brady, I mean, I know for a fact he's not the same guy. No quarterback he is, but we done seen for years what pressure would do to Brady. We done seen it. So it's common sense. You know, we just got to get to him. We got to get to him. That's the only way we're going to really win. If he sits back there and take pictures while he throw the ball and wave at his wife in the stands and before he finally throw it, we're going to get tore up. It's just that simple. Uh, but we got to come out the gate running. Uh, you'll hear about some of this in a little bit more detail on tomorrow at 3 p.m. Y'all come on and join me on tomorrow. Uh, appreciate you guys for hanging with me uh, for this little moment in time. Uh, thank you for those that popped in on Podbean. Hey, uh, um, I can't, Mephilio, where, are you, where are you from? I'm still asking the same question. I just want to say hello to and know where you are. I listen to me from, uh, if you don't mind, can you put that in? But if not, I understand it's no problem. Um, I'll see you guys on tomorrow at, uh, 3 PM central time, 3 PM central time. For the Big Time Show podcast, I'll be coming to you wherever you're looking at me from. I'll be on this same place again on tomorrow. Podbean, I'll be here tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Time. Uh, 3 p.m. Central Time, wherever you may be listening to me from, from the United States or even across the world. If you're going to listen to this replay, this little podcast uh, that will be uh, available to you in just a moment. Uh, if you're listening to me, whatever time of the night you're listening, I'll be here tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, for the Big Time Show podcast. We're going to have some fun, without a doubt. We're going to be talking cowboy talk on tomorrow. I'm out of here. Thank you, Wendy, for uh, hanging with your boy uh, tonight. I mean, so far today. Uh, one more time, uh, as I always say, hey, there it is again. If you want to contribute to the show, there it is, Cash App. Dollar sign the big time show. If you're on Podbean and you want to contribute, you should see a button there that says become a patron. Or uh, if you want the cash app as well, it's simple. I'm going to type it in for you right now uh, so that you can see that on Podbean as well. Okay. And there it is. If you want to contribute to the show, uh, and if you, if you all you have to do is go to that and there it is. Also, why don't you follow the show? If you listen to me on pod, man, become a follower of the show, just go and just push, you know, the follow button. Uh, and that way you can get the live notifications when I come on and you don't have to worry about the time. It should show up in your phone or your personal computer or wherever you may be listening to me from or whatever listening device, I'm sorry, that you may have. Uh, there. So I appreciate you guys. Just get ready for it tomorrow. It is the big time show. However, I'm gone. I'm through. But y'all know what time it is. You know how we close it out, right? 
y'all cannot come in here in my house. You can't come into my house and then leave without doing something for me. You can't do it. Bobby, you can't do it. You can't do it. You got to do this one thing. Uh, Ma, Mala Filo, whatever, you, whatever you are, before you leave, I need you to do something for me. Here it is. Can you just clap your hands? <laughs> Woo! Can you just clap your hands? What about y'all, Facebook? I'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Y'all come on, hang back with me. Thanks for y'all that's coming in now. It's, I'm gone now, but hey, you got in just in time to clap your hands. It is the Big Time Show.